Hey there guys, thanks for joining me today as we take a look at Space Engineers in a little bit of a more realistic fashion this time. I've made a new ship and we've got a more realistic backdrop, backdrop here. It's the uh, Void Space that you can download from the uh, Skybox Tool website that I did a review on uh, a little while ago. And as you can see here, this ship is almost completely encased in shadow, as you would expect from real space. We've got the sun there in the background, and if I go and take a look at the belly of this ship here, you'll see that this is actually neatly lit up by the sun. Take a look at the awesome stripes, the yellow stripes there from the gyros, looking really, really cool. And here you have the belly of the beast. I was actually very excited when I was fiddling around with the uh, Skybook tool settings, the, the shadow settings, uh, with a proper backdrop. Uh, skybox if you want to call it that you can achieve a really realistic space looking scenario and I'm very impressed I really like to play this way you can actually see uh, the door is right over there let's take a look at the cockpit first actually before I go in the gentle blooming glowing around the engines really cool this ship took me uh, about a night to make it's a large ship obviously but quite small um, it's not very big but I'm actually quite proud of it. I like the shape of it. I think it uh, turned out quite well. But it's even cooler on the inside. And I've really learned something today. If you play with lighting in the right way, you can make things so really, really cool. Because now with the black shadows, the interior of the ship by default is really, really dark. And you really need lights. You really need lights to make it work. Let's go take a look inside. You can actually see the glowing coming out of the door there, which makes it even cooler. I turned off the sound to make it even more realistic. We're in a vacuum. You'll almost have no sound in here, obviously. So let me turn or close the door just now. So here we are in the ship. It's a very long ship. You can see the lights. It's You're probably not seeing a whole lot of difference now. Apart from there in the corner, there's no lights in the back, so it's quite dark. Again, two gyros looking very mechanical there in the background we've got the glass all around here down and up which is really cool and with the uh, there's actually a couple of thrusters that are sticking out on the inside you can see one right there and now with the new textures in place they look a lot better there was no room for the uh, gravity generator so, uh, I wanted it in the middle of the center of the ship, so I too just chucked it in the bottom or the top, sorry, and then reversed its uh, its acceleration. Again, note the uh, the lights on the sides there. A couple of gyros here. And then we have the uh, the, the bridge or the cockpit. This again is another thruster uh, that is just sticking out there, but it looks pretty cool there. Here we have the cockpit. Now let's just uh, take control of this thing and take note of the uh, the thrusters that are very, very gently lit up by the uh, the lights inside of the ship, making it look very, very cool. Especially with the uh, the skybox, uh, it seems to fit like uh, like a glove. So something I wanted to show you. Uh, the cockpit is obviously quite dark. I made sure that light that you see there didn't actually reach further than the front. So when you look out, it is really, really dark. And this is so cozy, isn't it? I mean, face it. Let's face it here. Look at the cockpit. It's completely dark. Uh, looking through here, you can see the hallway is lit up, but then the back is just uh, completely black. And what would happen if you lose power in a real ship and you have absolutely nothing to light up the, uh, the ship? Let's go take a look. I'll we'll start from the outside here by just looking in. And we're going to just quickly turn off the lights. You can actually see that the interior has gone dark. I'll just turn it on again for a second. Show you from the inside what happens if I turn off the lights like this. It looks really, really dark. There's no gravity now, so we need the uh, the jetpack. And just look at this. 
I mean, I can imagine you can't see anything apart from where the sunlight comes through. And this is as it would be in real space. Look at how lit up it is when you're looking out the windows now. This is really impressive. And in the end, this is what space should be like. This is what makes things uh, even more cozy looking. Something I want to do is just turn this into the, uh, the sun now to show you the difference. So I'm just going to turn on the engines again. The power, I should say. And let's just let's turn this thing so that the light can catch inside. Like this. This should be fine, I think. Put the, the light on it now. And yeah, let's take a look at the ship here so you can have a look. It's a very tube like ship. We've got the uh, collector on the top, which feeds straight into all the reactors. So you have a fuel intake to fuel up the ship. And that's the only conveyor system really integrated into this ship. For the rest, it's it's just blocks. And I like it. I like it this way. I think it looks really cool. All right. Anyway, let's turn off the uh, the power. And you can already see that there is more light coming in here. And we should see the same thing going to the back there. Doesn't seem to be as much as I expected. Maybe I didn't tilt the ship quite properly. Or it's just that the windows actually hold back a lot of the light. Let's actually remove a window and see what that does. Yeah, there you go. You can see that the windows actually hold back quite a lot of light. And that makes it even cooler. Let's admit it. I mean, the way that the uh, with the windows in place, you're protected from the sun in in a way is really, really cool. And with the new thruster models in place, this looks just epic. It just looks really, really, really impressive. I like space like this. Um, dark, cold, and you really feel a sense of, I want to be inside of this ship. I don't want to be outside. And it is dark. Very cool. Let me know what you think of this. I'm really curious to find out whether, you know, you like playing space engineers in this way or whether you just want to be able to have a clear vision of what you're doing. Um, I, th I would say this is more for playing it uh, rather than building, obviously, because it can be quite uh, tedious to build in this in this sense. Uh, but, you know, imagine having all your stuff in place and, and you want to move into survival, for example, or you want to make survival just that little bit more difficult. You know, I can imagine uh, asteroids would be a lot Diff more difficult to spot different resources so let me know what you think about it and uh, why do you think that uh, this is cool or not thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah subscribe like and comment if you haven't already and i'll see you next time